everybody, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel Sewing Bunny. Thank you so much for joining me today in a bit of a special vlog because this is my uh, review of the Sew Over It Pussy Bow Blouse. Now, this review um, is in association with Felicity Fabrics. Um, I mentioned a couple of videos ago, I think, that um, I was very kindly asked to be part of the Felicity Fabrics blogger team. And just for full clarity, that means that they would send me some sa some look, that they would send me <laughs> some fabric for free, <laughs> and that's in exchange for a review of a pattern and uh, to show off their beautiful fabrics. So absolutely amazing. Who could say no to that, hey? <laughs> so um, in today's video, yes, it is the Sew Over It Pussy Bow Blouse and I'm just going to go through um, little bits and bobs about it. Um, I will link everything that I can that I talk about in the description box below, but if you do have any questions or anything like that, feel free to pop a comment in and I'll help as much as I can. Okay, so the Sew Over It Pussy Bow Blouse. I've got the uh, PDF um, version of this, if the light will be behaving. There we go. And um, yeah, I store these in little plastic wallets and as you can see there I've got my Sew Over It Pussy Bow Blouse label so it's uh, easily found. Now the Sew Over It Pussy Bow Blouse, um, it comes in a variety of sizes so it comes, uh, I'm just referring to my notes here, UK sizes 8 to 20 so a reasonable size range there and you can get it in different formats so you can get it in paper copy you can get it in pdf and you can also on the sew over it website now you can actually get the pdf and the copy shop um, printed version now the paper copy is 15 pounds the pdf is nine pounds and the pdf and copy shop is 11 pounds now just bear in mind there is an additional two pounds uh, postage if you have the paper version or the PDF and copy shop version. But a whole variety of different ways to get it. And it's not just for the UK, um, you can obviously get it shipped overseas as well. So um, they can, they've got a little shipping calculator, I think. So if you're unsure, then go check them out. So I made um, the size 12 of the Pussy Bow Blouse and it came up pretty well. Um, the measurements on there, um, so they it was said it was a 37 bust, a 30 waist and a 40 hip. Now that's pretty damn close to my measurements because I'm a 36 bust, about a 30 to 31 waist and about a 40 hip. So pretty damn close to, uh, to what it is. And as it's quite floaty and lightweight, um, then I didn't think I'd have any issues um, cutting out that size. So you get a couple of different versions um, of the blouse. You can get um, a tie version, which is slightly higher up at the neck. I will insert some um, pictures from the Sew Over It website so you can have a look and see. And so yes, you get a high tie up version up here, or you can have the second version, which is the one that I've done, which is where the bow is slightly lower down on the chest. And just for me, I think I just preferred that version because I don't like things too high up on my neck and I just think it had a really nice look to it. Now um, the fabric requirements on this one obviously it does vary slightly due to the sizing but I cut out as I say the size 12 and it said it required 1.9 meters of fabric and I do think that's quite good actually because um, when Felicity Fabrics sent me uh, the fabric, they actually sent me two and a half meters, which was extremely generous. And I've actually got, um, I think I measured the, what I've got left, and I think I had about 64 centimeters left. So I think that was actually, yeah, 1.9 um, meters, I think is quite a good um, fabric length that they've recommended. So it does tell you what type of fabrics um, would be best used for the blouse. And uh, it does recommend things like viscoses, crepes, you know, kind of just silky types. So anything really that's got um, a lot of drape. So you'd probably stay clear of, you know, kind of medium weight cottons, things like that. You could probably get away with a cotton lawn, actually. That might be quite nice. Um, but yeah, something that's very drapey because it is meant to be quite loose and, you know, kind of floaty. And you don't want anything that's going to hold too much shape and have too much structure. So that leads me on to the fabric then that I chose for this. And I chose this absolutely beautiful flamingo fabric. And I will show you the swatch that uh, Felicity always puts in their boxes. 
So this is the fabric and it is this beautiful kind of real kind of like candy pink with these lovely flamingos on. And uh, yes, with Felicity Fabrics, they always give you these little swatches. And it also tells you on the back, um, care guide of it. So you can see that this fabric is called Flamingos and it's 100% viscose and it's 140 centimeters wide. This was nine pounds a meter and it tells you um, obviously medium irons and to wash at 30 degrees. So lovely little care thing there. So yeah, I wanted a viscose because I love viscoses. They are just so soft and um, you know, sometimes, I mean, you can use crepes and things, but I don't want polyester maybe this close to me. So um, I absolutely love this. It's so soft and so comfortable. So yeah, absolutely brilliant quality viscose there. Also, um, I they did have on their website the weight of this viscose and it is actually 110 grams per meter squared. So I thought that was a really good touch actually, knowing how light it is, because with most things, you know, you do get fabric in different weights and it's really good, I think, that they put that on the website so you really know what you're getting. So one thing to bear in mind when you're cutting out uh, the fabric is because I've got a directional print, all my flamingos are basically facing one way. Uh, you want to make sure that you try and cut it as straight as possible. Now, um, I'm pretty sure a lot of you know um, how to line up your fabric and everything but for anyone that doesn't know um, try and pick a point on the fabric um, to kind of duplicate on the way down what I'll do is I'll insert a picture here of what I mean so you start off maybe with a flamingo head up then you've got a flamingo that's down then another one that's up and down and you kind of see that they're all at the same distance I really hope that makes sense, but just when you fold the fabric, um, just kind of see if you can get that because then you've got your best uh, chance of cutting everything as straight as possible. Okay, so let's get on to the instructions of the Pussy Bow Blouse and how I found it. So as I said, um, you get two different versions. You get version one with the high neck tie and version two with this lower neck tie. And this is the one that I've that I've done and they are very good the instructions in there because it does actually tell you um, a different steps if you're doing version one or version two so um, for instance it will give you pictures here of if you're doing version one it should look like this if you're doing version two it should look like that which I thought was really really helpful um, and, um, and again, so for here, if you're doing version one, it will tell you this is how you do the keyhole neckline. And if you're doing version two, then it's how to do um, the V neckline. So I thought that was really helpful and it's really clear. So for me, I love instructions where they do hold your hand a little bit. I mean, I don't class myself as a beginner, but I don't class myself as being maybe intermediate or advanced at all. I, I still like someone to really guide me um, along what I do. So yes, I'm very happy that they're very clear with this. Now, one thing I did find a little bit tricky was actually the um, the neck piece. When you um, put this on, you have like a little gap um, here. So if I attempt to undo the bow, just momentarily, so you can see how it sits. So you 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 um, sew the uh, the necktie on, and then you're left with like this gap here and it didn't quite sit um, how I would like. It wasn't really flush. I kind of had like a little bit of a gap with some loose stitches. Now, I'm sure that was probably just me, um, but I did have to kind of hand tack it in a little bit just to bring it in that tiny bit. Uh, I mean, you'd never know now. I think, you know, it looks like it's quite a good finish. So I'm very happy with that. Um, all of this, when you do put the neck band on um, or the ties on, um, it does actually recommend that you uh, slip stitch uh, it into place. Um, now, I'm not a massive hand sewer, even though, you know, I do like it, little bits of quilting and things like that and cross stitch. Um, that's one thing. But yeah, getting all those little fiddly bits in there, I'm, I, I'm not really one for doing that. However, this wasn't too bad. Um, because the fabric was a little bit slippy, um, I did just make sure that when I was slip stitching, I did actually pin everything down first. And then as I was slip stitching along, I'd take my pins out just so that everything kind of stayed in place. Because otherwise I was just a bit concerned it might go a bit 
wobbly here and there but yeah the one thing I would say is just when you are doing um, hand sewing and your slip stitches just take your time don't rush it because you want to have a really nice finish and um, just be careful not to catch any of the outside fabric um, along there otherwise you know it could pucker a little bit so yeah take your time now, one thing I did notice um, in the instructions that I've got. Now, I did purchase um, the Pussy Blouse um, PDF quite a while ago, so I don't know if they've updated um, this, but I did notice in step 13 of the sleeves, um, it says on here, from the lowest notch to the sleeve hem on both sides of the sleeve, ensure that the notch is one centimetre long and create a double hem by folding over half a centimetre and, and then nothing. So it just literally finishes at and. <laughs> and I was like, well, and what? <laughs> but thankfully, um, the picture actually does kind of show that you would just actually have to fold it over and I believe it means stitch it down. So thankfully the picture was there to help out. But um, yeah, just in case anyone does notice that as well, um, that's just something to bear in mind. Um, but the picture does show it um, well, so yeah, I was okay with that. Okay, so that was everything about the tie, so I'm just going to uh, do that back up again in my nice little bow. I mean, I don't know, like, there's probably a better way of tying these to make them look prettier, but uh, yeah, that'll do. <laughs> so yeah moving on to the sleeves um the sleeves were really easy to do they were so lovely actually I, I actually really enjoyed um making this because yeah if you just take your time with it a little bit you can actually really enjoy it so it does tell you to gather um at the top of the sleeve head and also gather around the cuffs and you do get these little um, cuff pieces on there. And also, um, you can see my little <laughs> button there. Um, and uh, yeah, so you put on a little rouleau loop here. But I didn't do a rouleau loop. I did um, just a very small piece of elastic. Just because um, I actually quite like not having to drop the buttons. I just kind of want to be able to take it on and off. And I've got no problem with if I just put the elastic there instead of a little rouleau loop that um, I can take this on and off over my hands, no problem. Now, I will insert a close up picture of these little buttons because at the moment my little flamingo is upside down, uh, but I will insert a picture. And I was kind of toying with the idea of where should I put the button? Because, you know, if I, if I look at it, the flamingo's upside down here, but all the flamingos are upside down because obviously I've done it so that they're all facing the correct way. So, um, yeah, I didn't want to move around flamingos. So, uh, but yeah, I love these little um, buttons and um, I think they complement the shirt really, really well. And I just think they're, I just think they're so cute and uh, it just makes it a little bit more fun, doesn't it? And yeah, as I say, the instructions were really easy to follow. So I don't think you'll have any problems with that. Okay, so um, because I've been sitting down, you haven't really been able to see much of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a video of me just doing a little twirl, just so you can see uh, kind of what it looks like and how it flows. So uh, sorry if my camera angles changed, obviously after the uh, after the twirling. Um, but yes, I hope uh, that helped um, a little bit uh, understanding about the fabric and uh, the pattern. And if you do have any questions at all, then you know pop them in the comments box. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. 
Um, this is the second time that I've actually made the Pussy Bow blouse. So um, yeah, it is one that I really, really do like and I hope to make plenty, plenty more of them because I just think they're so good for um, for offices, you know, when you're at work, just for day to day if you're going out. So I just think it's a lovely pattern. Um, this particular um, Flamingo fabric, I don't think Felicity Fabrics have it have it in stock at the moment. I don't know if they're planning on restocking it at all, um, but they've got some absolutely beautiful fabrics on their website at the moment. Um, they've got um, some lovely pastel cotton dobbies that have uh, come in recently, and that would be absolutely lovely, I think, as one of these, because they're a really lightweight, soft cotton. And they've also got some lovely Lady uh, McElroy fabrics as well. There's one which is just beautiful. I think it's called like Lorelli Amber, I think it is. And that's a viscose and it's this beautiful kind of spot which would have these kind of like black and orange dots. They're absolutely beautiful. And also if you're feeling very brave and you want to tackle this in a chiffon, <laughs> they've got a beautiful one with little violet. Uh, flowers on so yeah I do suggest checking them out they've got some absolute stunners on the website and their customer service is just second to none so I do hope you've all enjoyed watching my video today if you have any comments or anything like that or let me know how it went you know was I was I okay or was there something which you would prefer me to cover because at the end of the day I want this to be a channel for everybody um, and you know if there's something which I might have missed you know I'm open to you know criticism and things like that obviously not too much criticism but, you know. You know, um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I hope you enjoyed it. So yes, I will all, I will all, I will speak to you all soon, I'm very sure. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Bye.